Kia ora, good afternoon. Welcome to Opaheke Reserve here in Auckland South as we continue action from the National Under-20s. Great to have you along here as well. Today we see Waikawa Bay lining up against Northland. A warm welcome to you wherever you're viewing. Great to have some rugby league back and this competition has been well received by New Zealand Rugby League fans. A big day, of course. This is a double header. Central Districts earlier on in the afternoon with a wonderful victory over Auckland White by 26-24. This is the standings. Some teams obviously have played three games for Waikor Bay Northland. It's their second hit out. This game was scheduled to be played at Takahiwai, just out of Whangarei, but was uh, repositioned here to Opaheke Reserve. Great to have you along and with me, Wailangi Korpu, I will be calling the action Beautiful day for rugby league. I guess, as you were saying earlier on, every day is a good day for rugby league. Why? They're not oh, Yeah, beautiful day here in Papakura. It's uh, a, and a supreme uh, track as well. If we see the, the game before us, a nice, fast running rugby league. And I'm sure we'll get some from both these teams today. And we're looking forward to some decent action as well. Waikoua Bay went down in their last hit out against Auckland White. This is their lineup today. They've got plenty of talent, including some guys who've already played in Prem footy down at the Waikato, including Duma Towing, uh, Tekoi. And uh, keep an eye out too for the fullback. He really has some pace and he cuts into the line beautifully. That's to Humodi or Apana. Got some hard workers up front with Dean Bidwa and McRae, uh, the coach of the Waikoua Bay squad for today. Is Eugene Davis. Well, Eugene, uh, despite the loss, uh, the boys would have taken away a lot of confidence after the, the, the game against Auckland White. Yeah, no, they definitely did. Uh, we, I mean, as with every sort of game, you sort of get a game to sort of um, reflect on to, in order to sort of better the next time. So we've definitely taken a lot of that, lot out of that um, in terms of preparation for today. And so, um, yeah, we're looking forward to sort of implementing all those sort of work-ons that we sort of identified. And the boys are definitely keen for it. We actually need to use today to stamp our sort of um, our place on this competition. So um, as much as we the work-ons are, it's just about being confident and sort of getting out there and doing what we want to do. Eh? Saying that, what are those work-ons, mate? What's the focus for today's game? Yeah, I think um, we sort of got exposed a bit in terms of the, in the middle you know, like the last um, last game, and so I think it's one in the middle. I think if we, if our edges had to come in and um, cover, it was because we weren't winning the middle. So I think we need to win the middle. We need to be upfront about that. We need to get our line speed up a bit better. Um, yeah, and I think um, in terms of attack, I think we're right there. But it was more so working on um, sort of just taking the game to the to the attacking side by defending well in the middle. Right? So. Good luck today, coach. Huh? Good luck today, brother. <laughs> and it's putting a bit of a spark into the Northern lineup. So the skipper is in Bukoto, playing Prem footy for Takahiwai. The Henry Turner boys come with some good credentials as well. They're related to Paul Turner. He's doing well with the Warriors. A couple of Shelfords in the mix, as you'd expect from up there in Big Mokanaka and Ido. A couple of common names as well in the front row. Uh, it's a tough day at the office, no doubt, but they're looking to improve on their last hit out. Let's hear from their connections. Yeah, I suppose plenty to reflect on uh, in the last two weeks for, for the boys uh, coming up against uh, the Waco Bay side today. Yeah, we've, we've had a bit of time to sort of go away and work on some stuff, bro, and I think the boys are sort of up for a good challenge today, so hopefully we go well on the field. And seeing that, uh, where's, the, where's the main focus for, for the boys today? Where do you want to see some improvement? Uh, probably completed completions and holding on to the ball would be a good start for us. So we worked pretty hard on on that stuff in training and yeah, like I said, hopefully we can sort of put on a better show and and get the result. Good luck today, brother. Yeah. Cheers, thank you. It's really well received by the people in Northland. Viggo Rasmussen's in control today with Kevin Arcan and Jackson McGowan. Beautiful day for rugby league on their first hit out against the South Island. The Northland boys went down there. Half of them had never been on a plane. Ten had never been to Christchurch. You know what I mean? So it's been quite a preparation. Let's go to the hucker for Waikoua Bay. Oh, 
I love those starts to our games and big ups to Waikor Bay for putting the haka together, celebrating the rohe that they all come from. We're talking, of course, Waikato, the Bay of Plenty and coastlines. And uh, they'll be better for the run last time around there, Wairangi. Indeed, bringing together all their mountains, all their awa, all their iwi into one uh, one team, and representing them proud as they displayed in that haka. But uh, they'll be up for the challenge. And like I asked Eugene before this, they'll get a lot of confidence out of that battle they had with Auckland White because they were right in the mix uh, for, for the majority of the game. I tell you, the uh, scene, the rugby league scene in Northland, because it goes to 17s, and they have a proud Northland Swords 17s squad, but then there are no competitions, really, and they'll have to step forward into Premier play. So this whole competition is designed to keep the interest in from our young men. Many of them move across and play rugby and rugby colts and the like. But today, a chance to strut their stuff on the stage on Sky Sport. We're very pleased to have you along here. It's great to have rugby league back front and centre. And, of course, with the NRL starting back up, and now we see a surging run from Waikoua Bay. And big Eamon Dean scored a try last week, too, and he'll play the ball now on the 30-metre line as they push forward here. Northland, very important that they stay strong defensively in the opening exchanges. Yes, indeed. Trying to hang with them. Establish some, uh, some good defensive structures early is important for Northland to start turning away some of these big boys who have got a bit of energy early on in this match. On the halfway line now, Waikor Bay, dummy half work for Dana Bidwa. Hanging long. around too long, referee Rasmussen. Makes it known what he expects, how many moments he'll give the tackler to lay across the tackled player. Just a couple of seconds as Waikor Bay. Yeah, you, generally want, sorry, Dave, you generally want to feel out where the referee is in terms of how long you can hold somebody down. There's no restart, reset starts, uh, set restart, sorry, in, uh, at this level, so straight penalties. And just test out the, the referee and see what he's, he, he'll allow them to get away with. Once again, it's the big prop forward. Gets involved in the work early, Eamon Dean. Put away, Jacob Holliman. Halfback keeping himself busy. Oh, geez, they're stretched for numbers out on the right side, Northland. They decide to go to the right and a little dummy, the easiest of tries this time around to Dana Bidwa. Didn't take long, and all the preparations that came down on the bus this morning left about half nine from Whangarei. And uh, conceding a try just a couple of minutes into the uh, opening exchanges. Raymond well, Dean was the, was the threat. Two big runs from the big prop was doing a lot of damage, and there he was just hanging just outside the A defender, which held up you know, two, two of the Northland players. And fortunately, they just fell off the dummy half, and he took advantage of it. So, fantastic start for Waikoua Bay. Early in the season, it does ask a bit of the, the players. Of course, many of them uh, had compromised seasons last year as far as the uh, consistency of games, and so they've had to get themselves pretty much fit in their own volition. But uh, after that, hit out a fortnight ago, well, they are looking like they mean business here against Northland. And of course, the difficulties for Northland well documented. There's some teams up in the hook. Young, a big warm welcome to those of you too viewing from the north today. And of course, uh, a lot of players coming through from Kaitara and the like. There are a few lone players as well here but uh, what they're trying to do is to maintain <laughs> the uh, form that they have in the second division this is in the premiers for Northland as well and these young players here will go some way towards achieving that but right now they just need to get their hands on the ball show a bit more commitment in defense that was too easy there for Dana Bidwa strolled over from close range yeah. made it look easy yeah, they're just going to have to muscle up a little bit here, Northland. There's some big boys on the Waikoua Bay side, some big props. They're going to be steaming up the middle and try to do as much damage to that defensive line as possible. So they're really going to have to get their bodies in line, especially early on in this match. 
start establishing a little bit of dominance and defense if they can. I'll just highlight the, the drop kick for, for a goal. And the, the, it's not often we don't see a T come out. Big fumbles here for Waikor Bay, and that creates an opportunity. Up on the clock, plays the ball. Northland with a good chance here as Ray Sampson takes it forward. He's nailed. Just five or six metres out from the try line. Wouldn't it be a shot in the arm for Northland if they were able to get over here? They're very handy. Mokarika takes it in a couple more metres as well. Runners lining up. The big prop forwards looking to do the business and surging across the line but held up. There's big Nigel Edor. Held up, tackle two, take it back. And of course, I'm Christian Neville Rogers, the no, coach back of Northland. So we'll, as we fit into the wider Edel clan, okay. said, well, his old man's got the same name, Nigel, so I'm sure that they'll be related to Tony and Kev. As we see, lovely little dummy, and the fullback gets it on, and the try is scored out wide brilliantly by Charm Henry Turner. Well, there you go. Injecting himself into the line, the fullback, he comes with big reputation, and he certainly proves why. Yeah, no substitute for pace there, really. It was a fantastic play on the outside. I thought they might have gone a little bit sideways. No one really squared up, but he got the ball off the back of this little head-tail play there. Slice through the line and unselfish, gives it on to his centre. Oh, Modi Darpana. Now, I'll give him another rep because he held up a, another try. He's a try-saving specialist. Oh, Modi Darpana. He held up two, uh, two weeks ago against Auckland White, and this time he done it again but couldn't get across there fast enough and good try uh, there for Northland and Henry Turner Charm Henry Turner and his brother in the mix today and wasn't it a beautiful run too from the fullback from Takahiwa and the captain today so often you see the fullback as a uh, skipper but uh, he's also the goal kicker very accomplished and uh, the coach there really rates him He's out of the Northland 17s as well. It was fantastic at the Nationals. This young man, as he lines it up just a metre in from the Northern touchline, it'll be a good kick if he's able to slot it. He can't. And so we have a 6-4 scoreline, but a bit of a boost in confidence for the boys from the North. Yes, indeed. And I, you, know, you know Eugene Davis will be a, a little bit annoyed at the Waco Bay boys not being able to gather that kickoff and complete a set after scoring points. Pretty vital for these sides to learn how to, how to uh, compound the pressure against the opposition after they have a, after they score some points and getting to a kick is vital. So let's see, I think we've run out of tees here at Papakura or Paheke Park. No. The tees making its way on as well. Well, kia ora to all who have been supporting this competition. It's an innovation by New Zealand Rugby League to try and maintain or retain some of our teenagers who can drift off to other sports and maybe even worse than that to no sports at all. So this has been a welcome addition to the program. What's been a very challenging year for obvious reasons. It's Northland. We have the ball at the moment. 10 metres out from their own line. They work the short side. Waikoua Bay, hook on deep, Lowry Matthews predominantly, with some assistance out there from Caleb Lepail Gamlin. Just trying to work their way forward. Northland, so good work so far from Nigel Edel, continues to impress, 25 metres out from his own line. Backdoor work, shuffling it across the right side of the field. And to ground now, 35 metres out. I just want to get to the end of the set here, wide angle, get a decent kick. Find some field position. Uh, this has been a pretty good set so far for Northland. Yeah, not bad at all. Good completion there to the end of the tackle. Need a good kick away. So, work with work Bay will just have to be a little bit careful here. They don't fall into the trap of being a little bit lethargic in defence after a, a pretty simple try. First up, he's all moded up on it. Weaving some magic, getting a little bit close to that sideline. He's got good footwork. Lovely swerve. And a fair bit of pace, too. Rapana, it's been pretty impressive in the opening exchanges here today, but also in the last hit out against Auckland right a fortnight ago in Rotorua. D working their way forward. And from the wing comes Caleb Tarnett. 
Yeah, went to school with Te Modi's uh, father. I think I made mention of that last time. And usually I would say that Te Modi gets all his skills from his mum, but Whakahawe Rapana, his dad was actually a, a really good footballer as well. The Northland need to work hard here. Good defensive work put on there by Ricky Shell for the number 13. Makes the tackle. This is the last call. Into the hands of Bidwa. He senses the opportunity to launch it too and taken nicely for Northland. You need to regather, reshape. Already walking a little. It's pretty humid here today in Auckland. Once again, seeing the nice footwork here from the fullback. Five short of the halfway. Little dummy. And Bidwa is not going to fall for that one. And makes the tackle easily enough. Just on the halfway line to the right hand side we go now. Once again, it's Nigel Edo. Says, well, Come on, guys. Follow me. We'll have a dig. He's on the 40. Northland. Lutuatu puts the ball along. And a challenge here. It comes back into the hands, I thought, of Northland, but now it will be deemed to knock on. A little bit of a chance there for Northland. And they just weren't able to get hold of the ball. Yeah, a little disjointed just in terms of their structure. First Northland, one, yeah, they sort of stood around for the first couple of tackles, even though they had very good field position, trying to think what they could uh, come up with. And, and after a good sort of hit up, it was only the fourth tackle. So the, the little kick through caught them unaware, Waikoe Bay, but they got away with it in the end. They, they need to defend their line here. It's nice little kick from Lutuatu at the back row. Peels off and Ricky Shelford shapes up. He tracks a couple of defenders, but he's still inside the 10. Northland well poised here to take advantage. Matavai Latu has the ball, the big number 15. Down a little bit on size. Gee, the Central District's boys last time were massive. As we see once again the weaving nature of the fullback. It's dragged in by Totawa. Porema makes the tackle on the 10 meter line. And then Bukoto. And that ball over the far side was ambitious, but inaccurate. Yeah, just the execution, that final pass not going to hand. It was the right idea. Waco Bay actually were caught on the, that blind side, sort of backtracking a little bit, not coming forward. If they had all the momentum there, Northland, if that ball could have sort of got to hand, you would have had a very good chance of going down in the corner. It was hardly to the chest, was it? She was sky high, but as I say, it had been taken. Would have been spectacular. So, 6 4 score line here. Seven minutes gone, and a man that does need to be contained is Jaden Graham. Then his skill from the Tudunga Waiwai Club, Hamilton Boys High School, ex member. He's by Cor Bay, trying to create an opportunity down the right side. Martinga Ashby forced to make the tackle here for Northland. Yeah. Up the middle they come. This is Neil McRae. He came on off the bench last time. We had Michael Bay on Sky Sport. But he's been rewarded with a, a solid performance two weeks ago with a starting spot here for coach Eugene Davis. Yeah, that's a bit of a coach killer too. That's the second time the Northland side has been penalised on the fourth tackle. Just compounds the, the amount of work that they have to do in, the, in this sort of heat, and it is. It's very hot out here in Tamaki Makoto today. These boys are starting to breathe hard. I can see the mouth guards come out of the mouth every now and again to try and get some oxygen in. Aiden Dean plays the ball. Is a danger time here for Northland. The skip ball, lucky on the half volley, but a penalty. Everyone was offside for Northland. The entire right side says Rasmussen, the referee. Yeah, that's, that's they probably line. needed to be because they're on all sorts out that side. The winger out there really needs to get some numbers out, out his edge. That's Bidwa. Damon Dean, and that's too easy. That is way too easy for Northland. He's a big man, yes, but he just needed to have two or three on him. And he's in to score with a good try. Eamon Dean from Tokoroa. And number eight. Yeah, sometimes you just, you know, sometimes those uh, those big plays that work in under eights, they're still working under twenties. Uh, yeah, they get the the big man close to the line, very hard to stop for a defensive line. Yeah. You're pretty good, Doc. You can tell us. Uh, we'll have another look at him. He's a big unit. What do you reckon he's weighing there? Why don't you? 
Yeah, we've got the weights here with us yeah, today. I reckon he's pushing 118, something like that. Well, he's had some experience across the Taz as well because he's played his G ball with, uh, I think, the Storm and the Tigers as well. So he's got some experience and that level of competition. But that one was all too easy. Here's Xavier Mitchell to take the uh, conversion attempt from close range. Xavier out of the Picciol Club. Played uh, in 2019 for the 17s uh, for Waikoua Bay. Xavier, we played a wing and centre ex uh, Rotorua Boys High School last year in the first 15, but Coach Davis said that he thinks that he has the abilities to direct play, and so brought him in from out wide and put the number six jersey on him, and he's a uh, pretty handy young talent as well. Just want to go back and uh, say, Dale, just in terms of props, we've always had Oh, that always always produced some some quality big men, but uh, the standard of big men I've seen in this competition is really good. And uh, you know, I suppose remembering a lot of them are still carrying a little bit of puppy fat, uh, they have a little bit of training and and some conditioning under their belts. You know, they could uh, they could definitely reach the heights of NRL. Well, Coach uh, Neville Rogers would be disappointed to have conceded what were pretty straightforward and easy tries so far. Go to. No markers, no markers. He's got 10. Michael Bay on the rampage somewhat here, making easy metres on the far side of the field as well. Quick play the ball. On the 40 now. But they just pulled him up. Wrapped up by his opposite, Shelford. And also across the top goes Nigel Edel, leading by example. But they've got to work hard, sharp focus on their defensive work as Rappala gets into the mix. Rappala's got speed to burn, and it's hard to pick up. Beautiful ball back on the inside to Lepaya Gamlin. Now he'll play it just 12 metres out from the try line. On the boil, here they come. Watch out, Waikoua Bay. Look out, Northland. They're coming to get you as Bidwa works it on to the big man. He pops the pass as well. Desperate tackle on the far side, and eventually. The tackle is Very made by Holliban, but it was no deemed advantage. high. high tackle. And Waikoua Bay will continue the surge. Must have been a little bit short there as he reached out for the line, but yeah, penalty for the high shot. A little bit rattled here, the Northland side. Get it behind, get it behind. Mitchell Windsor gives it back to Bidwa. A real talent, Bidwa. Zealand 18s last year. Just three or four metres out from the try line. Northland doing it tough here on defence. Can they hold out Waikoua Bay? A full of intent at the moment. Ten to the left-hand side of the post as they wind up and find which way is the best way through. Working for an opportunity to put him up. Ido holds him up. Now, this is really important, the defensive work here from Northland. They're under the pump here at the moment by Waikoua Bay. The pass wasn't so great. Then it's been picked up, and it's OK. Away you go, Joe. And away goes Lotuatu, spinning and turning, then popping the pass as well. So still trying to keep it alive. Remember, it's the first tackle and the ground on the halfway. Good run from Northland. Yeah, a costly error there for Waikoua Bay, but the good signs for Eugene Davis's side. Plenty of numbers back there to chase yeah, pretty much set back on the defensive line we see Northland go forward now and that's a great little run out of dummy half Delano Henry Turner and that's a knock on at dummy half and that's from the skipper and Bukoto he'll, he'll be disappointed with that just the uh, the little knock on there he had Waco Bay on the, on the back foot be great for them to score next, of course, tries to Bidwa and to Dean. Charm Henry Turner scoring after five minutes. Okay, boys. Position at Keep the moment, well and truly in favour of Waikor Bay. They've wait, wait, 81 okay, percent of uh, possession at the moment. 51 tackles being made here by the team of the Yellow Strip Northland. As it gets less than 30 for Waikor Bay, so. It's sapping the energy from them as well, Northland, but even so, they're playing in the big time, they're playing on Sky Sport. There's a lot to play for. Pass is poor. Northland respond through Idol. He darts forward to the 40-metre line. Dummy half work for Delano. 
Shooter's Working down the short side to Edelweta. Shelford who loses the ball. It's a knock on. Knock on. And Northland Good give themselves okay. little opportunities. They just open the door, but then it slams shut. They aren't able to capitalise on the possession that they've earned. That's a back row there, Darwin Matthews, who shot out of line. Put some pressure on the, the ball carrier. His opposite number, actually. And the ball was just carried a little bit too low. Just to force it loose. So good work there from the back row to relieve that pressure on his side. He can one call Bay now on the 40 meter line and Xavier Mitchell wins uh, gets the ball out wide too to the big number four Dumatawinga Tekoi he's also played prims in the Waikato competition Dumatawinga to the middle looking for opportunities beautiful day tough stuff here for Northland it's Korima is put to ground 25 out from the line to Jaden Graham and he gets it across wide that's been lost ball back on the inside and it's easy as that for Caleb Lepail Gamlin just a little mistake on the edge for Northland and Waikoma Bay won't need a second invitation yeah nice little play I thought they might have just overplayed their hand a little bit looks like they've got numbers they put the ball to hand but nice little kick over the top and it was too hard to contain for the winger from Northland See again here, short side, little chip over the top. Plenty of opportunity there to catch it, and just comes up with an error. And yeah, you know, the good sign for Waikato Bay and their coaching staff. Four players around the ball there, putting pressure on Northland. Just wasn't quite set, was my thing. Ashby. Waikoua Bay have had the lion's share of possession, 83% as we touched on a few moments ago. And really the extra tackling that has resulted in that fact or is what's causing the problems at the moment for Northland. They've just been called on to do so much defensive work. And just faltering there out wide as well. 16-4 with a kick to come. The position improved greatly as well. Mitchell Windsor, the subs starting to come on again now, lining themselves up. No problem there for the talented standoff. So 18-4, still a long way to go in this first half. Yeah, it's, at the moment, uh, they're winning the battle over the ground, Waco Bay. It's just the dominance in the tackle for Northland. They're making the tackles, but Waco Bay are finding their front, just pushing through just a little bit which means that Northland have to get back a little bit further or they're not quite set on def their defensive line to get forward and and, uh, and attack the ball runner. Time, uh, well, I just want to pay tribute to a few of the players who were uh, offered to Northland, in particular, um, Iwane, who is uh, Iwane Lutuatu, actually plays for Marist. They head up to Whangarei Tuesday, Thursdays to train, but also Coach Rogers sees that having them and their yeah, improved skill levels has uh, helped to spark some enthusiasm in their teammates. But the ball at the moment is Dotawa. He's the ground, 42 out from his own line. Waikoua Bay steamrolling at the moment, really making life tough as McRae goes forward to the halfway line. Yeah, well, they just took off one mountain, Man Mountain and Amon Dean and they brought on the number 15. Brooklyn Rowley. He's a giant of a man as well. 20 is in. Sean Field for Waikor Bay. Oh, straight in. There. Straight at the ribcage, too. So Lutuatu with the ball tries to dummy and fall Rowley Matthews. He's not drawn into that. And Makes the tackle effectively through the middle. Comes the back rower, Shelford. Up now, three! Yeah. Hold. Go, three. Make sure you play the ball with your foot. Some solid work being put in there, too, on up the number 15. Hold. That's Matavai Latu. Hold here, hold! Go, four, short. They prop last week, and they're going to use him in the middle. He's actually three, from five, five, five. rugby, where he played on the wing, Matavai. 
Interesting to see him being used in the middle. He liked it last week. He's a big unit, number 15 for Northland. Keep an eye out for him. But right now, what's needed here is some D. And it's woefully inadequate at this stage. Bearing in mind, possession hasn't favoured them at all in any stage of the game. 19 gone in the dummy, and it splits open. No worries at all for Dylan Rogers. Poto arm goes up, and it's as easy as that through the middle. Northland with holes like Swiss cheese at the moment, and they're really being eaten up here by a more hungry Waikoua Bay squad. Good try for them in the 20th minute. You just made me hungry, Dale, and I love cheese. It's, uh, that was fantastic play by Waiko Bay. And really, you got to put it down to my toe. At the core, you really set this set up. A big charge through the middle, and they're really struggling to contain it. And Rogers Podo recognised there was no fullback at the back there, and the, the A defenders for Northland were struggling to get back on side. A little right foot step. And a great job to bust through that. I just see. Dilho Modi Darpana, the fullback for Waikoko Bay. He's, uh, he's just come from the field. Looks like he was limping a little bit. We have some shots in there of the, uh, the, well, not really the sheds, are they? But uh, it's been well set up here by NZRL. And of course, Sky Sport being, bringing out all the uh, heavy artillery here today. Great to be able to bring you this double header. If you just joined us, a reminder. Earlier today, Central District with a hard-fought victory over Francis Malley's Auckland White squad. They look very good too, Dal. And Francis, like she said to me after the game, he was more worried about the Central District side than he was about the uh, the Auckland Blue side giving them competition uh, in this tournament. Now this was just too easy. A little bit of a jink and a step, a straighten. And then he was in the open space. Up goes the arm. Saying, Mama, I'm going in to score one for the farmer. Good work from him as well. Dylan Rogers put out. You've got to guarantee that you can get the ball down when you put the arm up. Right out. The arm goes up and then you actually drop the ball. You have to live with that for life. He played in the Stallions still a couple of seasons ago for Eugene Davis. Out of Tauranga. Actually, Dylan from the Automotai Eels. It's now using the bench. As you would expect as well, these halves are 35 minutes. Going one, 15, 15. I'd say it's sort of a pre-season six-week tournament. Here. Hold. Here, here, here. It's uh, an exciting opportunity, and some of these young guys are really putting their hands up as we see Sean Field with the balls. Punches his way across the halfway line. Go three. Let it go. Let it go. Dummy go pop pass as well. Bidwa's clever. Yeah. Reminds me a little bit of Brandon Smith, similar sort of build as well. The skipper for Waikoua Bay. And just to hold on to the ball as well. So they're, they're having their way at the moment, Waikoua Bay. Northland do okay, finally go. get the it's ball. One first. Okay, loose carry because he's in offside position, so he can't pick up the ball. We can't play on from that. It's a scrum down here. Great adjudicating. Order in the courtroom. Here comes the judge. Yep. Offside, so can't play on. Got to pack down the scrub. Take a hats off to the uh, refereeing fraternity. Did a lot of refereeing along the way in your life there, Wadi? Absolutely none, Dale. Zero. <laughs> Zero referee in my time. Not even when the young fellow was little. Nah, nah, that's actually the worst time to referee because you got all the parents on the sideline. They absolutely hate you. It's a nice position to watch footy from, though. Now, this man is elusive, but I think they've got his measure at the moment, yeah. Waikor Bay. They've been told to keep an eye out on him, the fullback. Mbu Koto. Move now, 11! Fijian connections. It's okay. Genuine attempt, it's okay. Northland. Dropping the ball back off on the inside. That's up to Cleese Karaki. Here. Hold. Go four. Dummy half works. Not a big guy at all. Cody Shepard, is he? They send it downtown. And it's the wing who comes across the try scorer, Rogers Podo. Jacob, up now. Here. Well, up and up is off Go at one. the moment. Whitecore Bay in a dominant position here. 24 to 4 as we come up towards 29 minutes. 
Still possession with them, 76%. They've completed 63%. And there are 20 missed tackles already from Northland. Hardest workers at the moment on defence for Northland is Holliburn. He's the halfback. So uh, that's indicative of what's been going on. And plenty of hit-ups too from Tane and Tepodima for the team that's attacking now. 12 is Matthews and he's the ground. On the fifth and final tackle. They'll work it down the short side this time. Off the boot of Jaden Graham. A test to there at the moment. It is nicely taken by Martinga Ashby. And then as he goes to ground, he knocks it on. It's a cartoon trick at the moment, Northland. Yeah, he got himself in a better position that time. Took the ball, must have hit the ground, and then just rolled out of his grasp. Some more pressure for the Northland line coming up. Let me have a look here. Oh, there was a hand in there for sure. I thought you said you hadn't done any refereeing. <laughs> I'm always refereeing from the sideline. Oh, of course, from the all. couch. Oh, we all are. Yeah. Big night tonight for the New Zealand Warriors as well, lining up against the Titans. That'll be coming on this channel, Sky Sport 4. Later in the evening, I know there's been a lot of anticipation as to what we might see from them in 2021. The league fans are still well and truly in their corner, even though they're based across the Tasman. Spinning towards the line, but Vigor Rasmussen says, no, no, mate, you're just a little bit short. Cut out ball finds field. And up quickly on him to make the tackle is Latu. So they've got the numbers, and this bloke knows when to go for the line again. It's Bidwa held up this time. Back, back it up now on tackle number four. A bit of effort there from the markers and the A defenders for Northland. A little bit more aware of the, the smarts of the, the dummy half of Waiko Bait. This is a good run. Big power from Powley, or Rowley, my apologies, no. Brooklyn Rowley. Still sticking with the short side. Lovely. No, they've got the numbers, and it's finished off brilliantly out there again. The power Gamlin is getting a feast of ball. He's making the most of it out wide. Oh, that was that was clever because they were sort of up a little bit flat there, and I think Northland were expecting the kick. The quick hands from Waco Bay to shift it out to the winger. Great execution by this side. 28-4, a couple of minutes to go in this first half. It's going to be a bit of a cricket score. You get the feeling at the moment, taking nothing away from Northland as well. They don't get too many opportunities to play at this level. And at the moment, Waikawa Bay showing the benefits of their last hit out. But liking the work too of Dana Bidwa, I think he's a very skillful player. He's also the captain I'd be very surprised if he wasn't, uh, hasn't been looking over the years at uh, Brandon Smith's style of game. He's dangerous close to the line. The kid uh, looks up quickly, sensing the, the V that he's after, and then capitalises on it. So good to see Brandon Smith too with the number nine jersey starting for Melbourne. Gee, that was a game again to start the season for the NRL, wasn't it, Why? Yeah, indeed. Just the level that those teams like Melbourne and the Rabbits play at. It's uh, it's intimidating if you're a Warriors fan. Well, we've got plenty of skill as well. 28-4 is the scoreline here. Waikor Bay have been pretty good. And that's the halftime that has been called. It's been a solid performance. With five tries by Waikor Bay, they came thick and fast early on. And Northland just weren't able to go with them. They did score one after five. But here at Upahake Reserve... As part of the NZRL National 20s, this is part of the double hitter. We go to the break. Waikoua Bay lead Northland 28 to 4. It's time. To tease the walls at the Valvoline D1NZ National Drifting Championship. The best ready for the green light to ignite. Each corner breathtakingly close, flooring it to the finish. The Valvoline D1NZ National Drifting Championship, live on Sky Sport. Coverage brought to you by Repco. 
the planet doesn't know which stuff you're doing just because you can't say no. So start at the bottom of your list and cross a few things off. Say no to wasted energy, yours and the planet's. Firefighters don't like fire movies. They make you think you've seen house fires, but you haven't. That's why you think you'll have time to escape. Movies are all about the big orange flames. The black smoke that kills in real house fires isn't as cinematic, but far more deadly. It means you can't see or think clearly. We find scratch marks on wardrobe doors mistaken for exits. We've heard the howls of parents whose children are trapped inside the flames. There's no sound like it. In a real house fire, you have less than three minutes to escape, or you die. And the difference between those two endings is this. The big brand sale is on now at Unichem and Life Pharmacy with huge savings on top brands storewide. Boost your well-being with 40% off Go Healthy and Neutralife and a huge 50% off Good Health. Pick up 30 to 40% off big beauty brands plus more great deals in store. And be in to win when you update your living rewards details this month at your local Unichem and Life Pharmacy. Proudly New Zealand owned and operated. Sky Super Rugby Tipping is here, and it's totally free to everyone. It's not too late to sign up and claim bragging rights. Plus, there's spot prizes just for getting your tips in. So visit sky.co.nz Super Rugby and register now. From the far north down to... Mazda BT50. Hill House Fire. You have. All at once, so it's not a great way to. See if they can't start the second 40 better. Auckland with a swelling. Back into the action we go. Bubba wants the bottle, and uh, the sister won't pass the phone over. Give me that phone, says Bubba. It's great to have you along, too. Well, the crowd goes wild. Actually, no, the crowd doesn't go wild. The crowd goes, come on, Northland, okay, with us, Wailingi Corporal, of course, here. your hosts. The crowd goes wild as well on Sky. Good to have you along, Wailingi. What needs to happen What's here? The Look, uh, the, the coaching staff in Northland are realistic. But um, that was, at times, just a, you know, a sluggish effort. Opening exchanges, they conceded two very simple tries. They need to shut that down. I want to pay tribute as well to Holliburn. Number seven here for Northland is the top tackler. Let's see if they can't start the second 40 better. Yes, I mean, Neville alluded to it before the, the game even started. He needed his boys to complete as many sets as possible if they were going to have any chance of competing here today. Unfortunately, they've made a few errors and... There goes okay. another one, so it's not a great way to start the second half. But uh, look, he'll want a, 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 just an improved attitude from the Northland boys in the second half. They get their bodies in front of some of these big lads and they start stopping the momentum. I'm sure Waco Bay are not going to ease up. Preston Burgess takes them to the 30 metre line, the back row of Port Emma. Angles a run and then tries to offload, but he's shut down with a decent effort by Eddie with a shelf that makes the tackle. Field working to the right through Graham, are full of running and confidence at the moment as it goes on to Taylor Leaf. He too so has some premiership experience. And in the open grades as well, Waikoua Bay starting where they left off through that first 35 minutes as Field darts forward. He's still a couple of metres shy. They'll go the short side of what? That's a falcon. Straight off the big mush. And okay, guys, we're too close to the line. Knock on. No advantage. We're coming out get here. Get that one in, do you reckon? Wait, Lenny? Yeah, that's straight off the beak. We'll have another look. Only because we like those sorts of things. In fact, you'll, you'll have taken a note, too, to put that one in with Sebastian and Bro. Yeah. 
Good feature, my friend. There was a couple of real big hits in the Central District uh, Districts versus Auckland White game earlier on as well. So, oh yeah, right on the mush. That's a that's a hongi to the ball, ball. ball if ever I saw one. Doing the old hongi on the leather, eh? No tackle. with the ball now. Just need to start trying to push their way through. Back Some decent defensive ball. effort here from ball. Rowley. Would play the ball and a dart from dummy half. It's clever. The willingness to see it's here from Cody Shepard. Missed the ground. Eight short of the halfway. So Northland with the ball. Not much doing here at the moment. Up on the clock. Release now. Here we are. Hold. Go. Three. Showing it. Latu. Lost it off there for Shelford. Now how to use it. Into the corner, 16, 16. darting out, Lutuatu, fullback chimes in, looks to try and deliver the ball on the fifth and final tackle. Still 30 metres out. The cross, it comes to Lutuatu, sends it deep. Easy pickings at the back there for Rogers Podo. That's a good set though, never Rogers would be happy with that. Started by Cody Shepard. He's a small Hold. lad, but he got out. Dummy half, good attitude there to try and get as many metres as possible. 14! He just yeah. rolled down the field, so... He didn't come up with the result, but sometimes the kick and field position is uh, is a good thing to finish with. I want to put an imprint on. I've already oh. conceded a try in the first half, so at the moment going OK. Tua Tua. 15 up! Porima now on the halfway line. Scrambles to forward. his feet. Dummy half work for Burgess. And through the middle goes Field and he's into open space. Little step as well, trying to get past the fullback. And the offload is solid. Right on target as well for Mitchell Windsor. So he'll want to quick play the ball. Field goes to dummy half. Half volley pickup was good. Kick across to the other side of the field was smart. Have a look here on the inside. Beautiful finish. Slick stuff and it's Taylor Reef. Who is in Leaf? Um, my apologies, Taylor Leaf, who gets in to score for Waikoua Bay. We have uh, the fullback down and back player as well. Yeah, a the concern there. The captain for Northland, so he, he went down to play the ball. Actually, uh, I think Ashby actually recognised that, came across to try and cover, and then he had to shoot back out to his left wing to try and cover this kick, and there was no chance. There you see him rushing around in the background there. Nice little right foot stab, then an offload. And there was so much space out there. Unfortunately, it looks like the captain for Northland is in a little bit of trouble. Train is now. here for yeah, Northland. I, I didn't see what happened here. I think he picked it up on the tackle of Sean Field. But Sean Field, this little right foot step went through the line and the fullback then, Biokoto, I think he was the last one to try and get in the way and maybe cop the knee or... 32-4 scoreline here, just five minutes into the second half. And looking to add the extras is Xavier Mitchell wins up. It was a, a clever kick as well. I think it was Jaden Graham boys. who kicked across to the right side. Well, that was the tackle on the six. Mitchell Windsor. And um, it's a back and back play here. Yeah, it's either something with his neck. I did see he got kicked in the face with a boot. So. Well, just while we've got a chance, just want you to be aware that there is a, a great game on tomorrow as well, live. South, or South Island lining up against the Auckland Blue squad. And, of course, the Warriors coming up later this afternoon. They line up against the Titans and uh, a 5 o'clock kickoff as part of the big Saturday night coverage of round one of NRL action. Michael Bay. It's got a proud reputation now too as we 
have a look. Might even have a look at the ladder if we're able to, uh, as well, just to remind you of where we are at. Bit of concern here at the moment for Aruni Biokoto. He's, uh, he's sitting up as well. We'll have a look at some of the stats as well in a moment. This is what we are, are dealing with. So Central Districts have been pretty damn good, haven't they, Wairangi? They've played three, admittedly, but two good wins for them. One last week and uh, again this week. Yeah, and they almost uh, got away with the, the first one, the first game of the year against Auckland Blue. They actually led for 60 minutes of that game and then led in a couple of tries to conceding their points to Auckland Blue, so... Un unlucky for Ronnie. Pleased to see him able to be assisted there, but he looks quite dusty, doesn't he, as he makes his way to the northern touchline here at Opaheke. Gives us a chance to reflect on the position once again. Number 17 is coming on. That's Titan Semenov. Hey, he's not well, Ronnie Bikoto, but uh, so we had a little smile and laugh with his trainer there, so that's a good sign that it's. This his brain is still working. Thanks for that. Uh, completions at the moment, 62% for Waikawa Bay. Possession is still up around 80. It's uh, at 79. 25 missed tackles, which is not helping the Northerners' situation. Okay, time back the on. conversion time attempt unsuccessful. So we're back into the action. 32 to 4. Big loss too, Dale. Sorry. Big loss for, uh, for North on his integral part of their attack. As in Bukoto. Oh, 15 now. He looked to have put the 14 back to cover uh, for him. And he's been pretty impressive. Oh, no, Cody Shepard. Here we are. Hold. Go to. Back row with the ball. So, as one falls, time for another. And put the hand up. Edward is Shelford is keeping himself involved. And, Teams up there with Kailaka to make the tackle on the halfway line out of dummy half goes Preston Burgess to ground he goes on the 40 metre line here 20 in from the northern touch line dummy half work at the moment for Sean Field who work at short side for Mitchell Windsor and the grubber kick is good and the wing picks it up with skill Caleb Tane is in as Waikoua Bay are in to score another try and looks as though the fullback well, the standard fullback copped the blow as well during that exchange. Waikoua Bay romping away with the game here at the moment. And uh, well, Northland, well, they just can't seem to get a groove on at all. Yeah, full of confidence. That was the last tackle. Little kick through. Recognise that they had some numbers down that short side. Probably could have, once again, put the ball to hand. Tumatonga Tukoi has been devastating out on that left centre edge, especially in the first half. This time a little kick through and miscommunication between fullback and winger for Northland. Look at they go again. Just keeping things simple. Holding on to the ball, possession. Getting to their kick. Putting pressure on Northland. It's coming up with some results. Yeah, we, please don't feel we're putting down these guys from the north. The logistical challenges for Neville Rogers pulling together a team early in the year but even so it's a proud province and they're still doing their best but uh, just haven't got the artillery needle at the moment against Waikoua Bay and the conversion is successful again and Mitchell wins up so 38 to 4 scoreline most New Zealanders like to support the underdog I'm sure those of you at home watching today will be hoping that Northland can get some possession Possession has been 80% in favour of Waikor Bay right since the start of the game. Yeah, like you say, Dale, they, I suppose the lack of competition, they've, you know, they've got a, a solid under-17s program up north, and then from 17s, the next step up is Premiers. So, you know, that three-year gap where uh, a few of those boys get lost in the system or change to, to boys, another code or, uh, or, yeah, or don't play at all, um, it's, it's, I suppose it's really hard for Neil Rogers as a coaching staff to try and put together a team of uh, you know, under 20 year olds or 20 year old kids to, to try and play this competition early in the season. It can be demoralizing, but I think that uh, as long as I understand, most sports fans keep this stuff in perspective as well, but they're full of running. And again, we see the talents of 
Nudai McRae on the 40. Burgess, they go the short side. Xavier sends it on the inside this time to Jack Henry. Still try last week. And his outing against Auckland White. Running with some intent is Rowley this time. Short side again. Mitchell Windsor pushes the ball back. Tani gets hold of it. It has gone backwards and it's been touched. So we get a full set again for the boys in black. Henry. But I'm lucky that Northland didn't see a hand in there. Hold, hold. Go one. Burgess Field. And now for Rowley again. Tackle that needed to be made. Hold. Hold. Go two. The right hand side, they come full of numbers. And from the back, Rogers pulled out. Going. He pops the pass out nicely as well to Taylor Leaf. He's been causing some problems down that right edge. Okay, 15, up now. Here we are. Northland swapped to make the tackles, 22 tackles to the halfback, Holloban at the moment. Fields just to the right-hand side of the post. Threatening times again for Northland. They'll have to be on their game as it goes through Graham. Graham now out for Leaf. Pops the pass nicely for a beautiful finish down the right edge. And again, it's Caleb Lepale Gamlin. That's his hat trick for this afternoon, the centre. And uh, he has been the recipient of some good work from his inside men. Yeah, that was a magic pass. I don't think Northland can be too disappointed about that defensive set. To be honest, they, they defended really well. They scrambled really well. They pushed up. They got in front of players. It was just a, a, a beautiful pass out of the back of the hand from the centre. They put his winger over. Taylor Leaf there with that, that offload. Like I say, beaming with confidence at the moment. You know, they're willing to, you know, being 38 points ahead on the on the scoreboard, they're willing to pop those passes out the back and hope that one of the teammates turns up. It pays off that time. That's trying to break two for Waikor Bay. Been very clinical in the way that they have dispatched Northland here this afternoon. Still a long way to go in the game as well, so it could be a whopping big score unless something changes around here at the moment. Possession certainly hasn't. I mean, just as an example, hit-ups with the ball in hand, a double. Waikor Bay have had 84 hit-ups to Northland's 41. The same in the, in the tackle count as well, Dale. 143 tackles for Northland, 60 for Waikor Bay. That's more than double. So when, when you're sort of making that many numbers in defence, you're always going to struggle, in particular in a hot time with Makoto day like this. Mitchell Windsor showing that his value is not just with his uh, ability to control the game and through the middle, also with the kicking team. Very fine. 44 to 4, the scoreline here. They're improving as the tournament progresses. It's going to yeah. be a real battle to get those final spots, why don't you? Yeah, indeed. And, and, and Eugene Davis alluded to it before this match started that you know, he was wanting his team to really make a statement in this match. And so far they have. And they continue to grow with confidence with every set, every try. They're starting to back it up. They're starting to run together in numbers. It's promising signs, signs for this side. Yeah, you can sense improvement from the last outing that uh, we called okay, of them a fortnight ago. So if they keep improving at that sort of rate, they'll certainly uh, be able to go with the big boys in the comp. He's the chip over the top again from the constantly impressive Mitchell Windsor. Getting manhandled at the moment. The young backup fullback. Okay, up There's now. not much of them. Come here, come here, come here. Go, two. 20, no more. Here we are. Hold. So Northland finally have some possession. But still, keeping it at about 20% uh, calculation throughout the course of the game. 
They've got it now. Let's see if they can make some use of it with a cutout pass on the far side. A little bit of, bit of a step there from Charm Henry Turner. He scored the only try for Northland thus far. And he's to ground here. Last one! Just inside the 40. What call Bay's the end of the ground. So Holloman gets a kick in. Tries to punch it into the hole. And going backwards and taking it with the plum is Rogers Poto. Well, he scored a try in the 20th minute as well. Found a hole and darted through. There's no one home and made it all look too easy as Caleb Tarnley gets hold of the ball. There's a bit of work. Giving his forwards a bit of a breather. Go to. Thank you. Okay. No, Michael go. Bay, sensing there are more opportunities to break yeah. through the middle. Go three. Really 15, 15. a wary Northland clear. team here. Some of them just playing on instinct. They'll be absolutely drained if it did do a heck of a lot of defence here this afternoon. Now Michael Bay, while well, they're full of Last running, taking advantage of the fatigue factor. Go. That might have been a little bit of a knock on there. At dummy half. Now, this is going to fall, I was about to say safely, but in the end, it is picked up at the back by Titan Seminoff. Not much of them, but all heart. Yeah. Good on them. Go one. Yes, indeed, yep. There's opportunity at fullback, Sorry. tough position too, especially at this time of the game. Yeah. Hold. Hold. Go to. You can hope the uh, young. Skipper is doing okay as that ball has popped out the back door and it's back to one. Don't lose the ball. That one's been taken, stripped. Okay. Back, no, it's back to one here anyway. No advantage. Knock on by Black. Here we are. Scrum down. Oh, scrum down. He's had a good game today. We've got Rasmussen. He's uh, had the whistle. Look through some of the workers so far. 24 tackles to the halfback for Northland. Did anything else? Stand yeah, out for you. We mentioned that he was the leading tackler for for Northland, but um, when you when you look at the when you look at the man, he's you know he's he's a big halfback. Uh, he gets across the the field well. Okay, now he's doing a good job for his team, trying to cover as much as possible. Lutuati, the nice step, looking for a hole shot. Darts back in field, plays for Manu Marist, I think. One of the other boys said, uh, come up from Manurewa to help out this Northland team. Go Go Dummy half work and now to Holliban. He turns it back on the inside and trying to find a way through. Delano Henry Turner. He spins. Gets out and it's a, another little knock on. Uh, trying to create opportunities, but it's not really coming together at the moment. Scrum feed. Michael Bay. 20 yeah. in from touch from the northern yeah. touch line on the 40 meter mark. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit gassed. Northland side. So every time that somebody sort of pokes their nose through or gets an arm through looking for an offload, there's not really anybody there backing up. And that's, I suppose, a, that's just a, you know, something that comes with being a little bit fatigued. Jaden Gray pops the ball back on the inside for the hard running Taylor Leaf, who's to ground. He gets to his feet quickly. A little bit of an offload here for Awadi Matthews. Rangy back rower, Matthews, okay, wrapped up in the tackle of Lutuatu. It'll show and straighten from McRae. And okay. a knock on. So I take okay, a little so bit of credit one. here. One the tries have come with monotonous one. regularity as far as okay. Northland White are concerned. Ball, okay. But there hasn't been one for now eight minutes. And so they just need to consolidate here, try and stem the flow yeah. of tries against them, and uh, see if they can't. Do a little better at the back end. Possession has been their stumbling block, and they've had to make 160 tackles against the team that have only had to tackle 76 times. So you can see why the fatigue factor is so important here. As a hole is opening up for Mitchell Windsor, and just too tired to run after him, to be honest. Mitchell Windsor makes it look easy. It's not easy, but with a tiring defence, he was able to school them that time around again. Yeah, Mitchell Windsor, he was one of the best players in the first round of this competition. Once again, he shows his skill. It was, uh, it was subtle. It was subtle, the run, but uh, a little bit of a poor defensive effort there. Show and go. Shrugs off one tackler and 
just too much pace for anybody else to try and catch the, the standoff and he dots it down. Well, the other teams in the comp will be looking at today's game and well, well we have great respect for all of the young men who are taking part in the NZRL National 20s. This guy has had an outstanding game here today as a director of traffic, motivator of men, and also able to show his own unique individual skills as well. It's been pretty amazing. Xavier Mitchell wins it. Yeah, well, Northland uh, got a t another another tough task next week. They come up against Central Distri District. Dana Vidwa adds the extras this time around. And we're broken the half century mark here for Waikor Bay. It'll be very satisfying though to Eugene Davis and his connections. Another head on shot of the very talented Xavier Mitchell Windsor. Been one of the very best here this afternoon. Yep. They'll take their confidence out of this game and they'll take it into next week against South Island down in Dunedin. So. Bit of a journey for some of these boys. I uh, wouldn't expect all, all of them to have actually ever been to the South Island. So, bit of a trip down there for for them. And actually, hey, that's actually down in Forsyth Stadium. So, undercover even. So, they, they're treated to some top class uh, facilities. Well, a lot of league played there at Forsyth Bar over the years. I think the Warriors played pre season there a few years ago. But it's an awesome facility. Yeah, it's a waste. Let's be honest, Al. It's wasted on rugby, really, isn't it? Oh, thank you for uh, stating the obvious. Yes, I agree. This guy's had a good game as well. Continues to impress that state of good luck. A sneaky little player there. One on one strip on the, the captain for Wago Bay. That's a good wind up run. He needed that. Toy to Hua Tahi Munro. Had a lot of ball, as you see, Ori Sampson. Well, this is better for Northland. They finally have some possession, and maybe they're able to make something of it. A darting run down the right side by Cody Shepard. Peeled back Shepard now. He's 18 from the line. Ball in hand for Huppert on the Clark. He's manhandled by two defenders. Last tackle here on Northland. He went to ground pretty solid. He's a bit ginger getting up as well. Reaches for the hip. And it comes to Lotuatu, and he tries to drill one into the end goal, but reading that well was uh, Rogers put out. Good, spirited run there from the standing fullback. Yeah, he did a good job there. Great position. Oh, he's got cramp, and now he's up and out his mate. <laughs> he's just no, throwing the ball off. away. Time off, time off. We're going to go time off. Tackle one. He's done a Nolan. He's done a Justin Nolan. He's just right. throwing the ball out the back. I don't know if that's what the coach is looking for. I mean, sportsmanship, yes, but hold the ball as well is another another story. Back in my day, you would never see me helping out an opposition. And uh, I would have played the ball on top of him. Right. Might be worth having another look at because okay. is this what you do or don't do in sport? All right, guys. Guys, <laughs> it's just cramp. Okay, so I mean, we're going to bring it in a few metres. I'm going to play you chuck a sad here. song on it and you, you, you put it on social Wait. media and you get a lot of views, Dale, but it's not really over sport, here. is it? Just bring it over here. Oh. There you go. Here's the one on one strip on Big White. Took it straight out of his hands. It's a fantastic play. Eddie Shelford working over. As you can see, getting some work being done there on the cramped player who is down. by Bay still with it. They scored four tries in the second half. They scored five in the first half today, but still possession with them at 76% errors at around 10 apiece. 18 completed sets for Waikor Bay, seven for Northland. Well, he's been fantastic since he came on. He's a, he's a big man. Every time he's taken the ball up, he's drawn in two or three defenders, and on the back of that bid one, he's been go. able to get out yeah. of dummy half and cause havoc yeah. around the, the yeah. rock. Go. Oh. Okay, let him up now. That's a, that's a tough take. He's done a good job. No, he hasn't. Okay, we're out here, guys. 
Yeah, we've seen that a couple of times where the uh, ball has been caught, I think maybe by the same guy. Fortunate there, that's up. Big test uh, in terms of their, their attitude okay. here for Northland. Ball in now, six. Out. Plenty of excuses for them to let another try in. Oh. Including big, hard, shunt. strong running. Yeah, yeah, shunt, <laughs> shunt and grunt there coming on. Okay, well, that guys, effort there from Portium. Right in front of the posts oh. here. Looking for try number five in the go second one. period. No, 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 it's good. It's Ball good. out and over the top to Jaden Graham. This guy's caused problems out there, Taylor Leaf. Oh, yeah. yep. No, no, go for them. And again, a leaf is solid and rewarded. Nah, yeah, it looked like a... They're all just lining up now, really, to try and get on the scoreboard. Leaf there with a good right foot step. Back against the grain, causing problems for that Northland defension. This is when... Uh, this is a stage of the game where a lot of the boys on the inside, as soon as the ball goes away for them, they breathe a sigh of relief and go... Oh, it's your job to you know, tackle them, but as soon as they step back on the inside and come back at you, you're in trouble. So, good job there from Leaf. Yeah, well, he always looks threatening up there, and there's some nice combinations that he's developed with Jaden Graham, and uh, of course, uh, able to utilize the winger down the right side as well. Okay, well, Northland uh, um, a little bit rough by the sound of things. They've got those subs to replace player that's coming from the field. There's still just on nine and a half minutes to play. They scored a couple of late tries in their last hit out against the South Island Northland. But at the moment, they just don't have any answers here for Waikor Bay. Yeah, they're doing it tough. And like you say, no one left on the bench. Which means they're down to 12 players for the uh, remaining of this game. <laughs> a very good job though, Waikor Bay. Very really good job. Just tick that to tail leaf. He's taken over from uh, from his other centre partner and Tumatonga, Tumatonga, the Koi. He was uh, he was full of running in the first half. Did a lot of damage down the left edge, but hasn't really been needed in the second half. Well, this flies in the face of the closeness of the competition. Really went down to the wire in the first of our double headers from Upaheke this afternoon. That was Central right. Districts lining up against Auckland White. 26 to 24 scoreline, and it wasn't sorted until that very last moment. On the other hand, here this afternoon, well, it really has been one way traffic, and uh, nothing that Northland have been able to do about it. And uh, this is uh, something that comes in their favour. So, eight and a half minutes to play. Can Northland get across the line as they did against the South Island a fortnight ago? And just put a little bit of credibility. And uh, we hear that a prop is going on to the wing, so maybe there has been a filling spot there for Northland as well, Wairangi. OK, boys, heads in, half. Nice. OK, ball in. Good luck. Out! Yeah, a prop going out in the wing. I'd love to see him get the ball. He's had a pretty decent game today, Wairangi Lutuatu. So he'll play it, and right in front of the post, it's Cody Shepard who finds Charm Henry Turner. And he has a go towards the line. Hold here. Hold. Scored the only try for Northland so far, Charm. Back into the hands of Mavaitau Latu. Mavaitau. Cut out ball. Out to the right, trying to pick up an opportunity here for Munro. Munro gets it on the inside for Kayaraka, who is in to score for Northland. And the crowd here small, but appreciative. Say so good on you guys, you never gave up and they get a try late. Yeah, nice, nice ball out wide to the centre there. We recognise a bit of threat back on the inside. They shot out of line. Mike Obey, you have a look here. Big long ball. I'm going to try to put some pressure on it. Back on the inside and then just split the defenders. They ended up tripping over each other. So, Kayaraki went straight through the middle. It was Yentani, he put some pressure on, and Decoy, he couldn't come up with a tackle, so yet, yeah, sort of coming out with a bit of a good note. Yeah, well, they'll be pleased to have secured that. It's a long trip 
north as well. well yeah. Reflecting on a scoreline that's so lopsided, but at least uh, that try suggests that they never gave up. And I'm not for a moment suggesting they have at any stage of the game. They've just been outgunned at the moment by Waikoua Bay, who are on the improve. So here's the conversion attempt by the try scorer. Chase Karaka. Fingers crossed for him. Let's see if they can get into double digits. Here we go. Scoreline is 56 to 8. Can we add that for Northland? Around it comes. It's looking okay. And no, just to the left hand side of the post. Uh, you're hoping to get to double digits, but maybe there's still a chance. There's just on six to play. Yeah, they, they will have 13 on the field. Nigel Udall, he went back on. He actually came off earlier with something wrong with his had something wrong with his leg, so he's actually gone back into prop. They've obviously pushed somebody else out onto the wing, so they've got numbers there. You can see him sort of in the back on the fence line, trying to shake off whatever it is, and hopefully he can push through for his team for the next five minutes. But of course, MVPs matter here as well. There's been some decent play. This guy's had a solid game today, the standoff for Northland. No, you know, on a team that's copped the hiding. He's putting his hands up. It's been impressive, actually. You only look lucky. Big ups to that young man. Holloman's been busy. The busiest uh, on defence as well. 25 tackles for the halfback. That's him with ball in hand now. Dropped back on the inside. And Nigel Edel back into the mix. 45 out from the line, peeling away. The little dummy half trying to find his way through the middle. There's Cody Shepard. Good set. Shepard's, you know, he's been impressive. He's got a bit of ticker about him. The kick is easily read and then flicked back on the inside here for Rogers Porto. He's got speed to burn and who's on him? Cody Shepard. Really racking up the tackles as well now. Shepard and a mistake made by Waikoua Bay and in good field position here. To perhaps score a late try. Waikoua Bay will pack it in. Get the scrum feed. 10 yeah, metres out. Just the tiniest little bubble. I would have, uh, if I was the tackler, I would have faked the cramp and got him to throw the ball away again. You've got all the tricks of the trade there, but you did work with Bellamy, so say no more. <laughs> On the far side of the field, trying to find a way through his charm, Henry Turner. Release him now, 16. The main tool in the front of these young fellas came down from Northland and of course Waikoua Bay, but just bearing in mind how difficult it's been here on the track today for Northland. Great shot. Terrific. Lotuatu. Ricky Shelford, he's right on the line here. Here is a chance. Waikoua Bay, can they get there? Cody Shepard. Look to have a go himself. Out we come Lotuatu. Holloman. He puts the grubber kick in. Is the bounce good for him? He goes for it. It's tapped back and managing to get into the field of play. Look at Holloman came back to get underneath him as well. Quite brilliant. He's been outstanding. Decent smile on his face. Maybe it's the mouth guard. But, uh, I'd like to have seen from him. It's a nice little play. You know, you, sometimes you can't rally players around you, so you have a good crack yourself. That kick has gone over the sideline, so they'll take the two. Position. Yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon take the two and go to double the figures or no? No, they won't. On the line, boys. In the middle. In the middle. Just in the middle. Over two minutes okay. to play. Go. Here we go. Cody Shepard and across to Lutuatu. Shows it. Tries to straighten. Leaf squashes him with the tackle. Slowly to his feet comes Iwani. Well, he was out of position that time, Latu. This is uh, Mavai okay, Doe. Poor pass. Holloman's under some pressure. The half volley pick. That's for Nigel Edel. Nigel Edel goes towards the line. Edel. He's pulled just, pulled down just before the line. Cut out ball over the top and a finish out wide. And Northland are in to score. And it's a welcome try. The toy, the Huatahi Munro. Good stuff, Northland. Never gave up. And they're in the double figures at least. It's been a hard, hard day on the track there for the boys from the north.
But they do manage to score two late tries to give some respectability to the scoreline. There's the over-the-top ball, and Munro says, thanks very much. I'll put one in the book for our squad boys. Yeah, good effort there from Northland. Some nice play. Good run from Nigel Iro as well to try and set that one up. Eugene Davis here. They'll be a little bit uh, disappointed with the effort for Flyco Bay. Just taking the the, uh, the foot off the throttle a little bit in these last five minutes. And let their team back in. You can't afford to do that against some of the the uh, the you know the, the top teams like the Aucklands and the Central Districts. But uh, I'll, be, I'll be happy with the efforts today. So Mon Mon Monroe with a uh, welcome try here for Northland right at the end. Five tries, though, each half here for the team that really dominated from the opening whistle. We're talking Waikor Bay here. So there's the conversion attempt from out wide. That'll go wide, and so it will stay at 56 to 12. So uh, a bit of a comeback of sorts here for Northland. They never hung their head, and that's the main thing as well. We've got MVPs that we'll uh, let you know about, too off the back of the result and of course the leading mvp gets three points then two and one 56 to 12 that's right a run around the 69th minute possession now 70 percent to waikoua bay and they have dominated this afternoon's head out here in the national under 20 competition but i hope you enjoyed seeing some of our players even though it was a bit of a lopsided game uh, result wise what we do know is that they're trying hard as well. 56-12, Waikoua Bay too strong for Northland here at Upaheke Reserve. And it's been a solid showing for the boys from Waikoua Bay, Waikato Coastlines, Bay of Plenty as well. 10 tries to three, Waikoua Bay 56 and Northland 12.